Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm gonna to be going over cranial nerves one through 12 that will include a live demonstration. My name is Christina, nurse practitioner. Let's get started. Cranial nerve one is your olfactory that consists of the nose. It checks the sensory and sense of smell. You wanna have your patient close their eyes and include one side of the nostril and ask the patient to smell unfamiliar odors that could be an alcohol prep, a bar of soap, and you also wanna repeat the test. For cranial nerve two, it's your optic nerve, which it controls your sensory and your vision. You can check with the smell and chart. For cranial nerves three, four, and six, they are always checked together, so I remember it as an address like 346. Cranial nerve three is your ocular motor that checks for pupillary constriction, which is an up and outward eye movement, down and lateral, looking for ptosis, which is dropping of the eye. Cranial nerve four is your trochlear, which includes downward and inward eye movement. Cranial nerve six is your abducens. You will have your patient do lateral eye movements. Cranial nerve five is your trigeminal. You wanna check motor and have the patient clench their teeth and attempt to open the patient's mouth. To check sensory, you wanna have the patient close their eyes on both sides, lightly touch the patient's cheeks, forehead, and you wanna know if it was equally felt on both sides. Cranial nerve seven is your facial nerve. You wanna have the patient close their eyes and you will attempt to open their eyes against resistance. You wanna have your patient smile, frown, and show their teeth. You will also ask the patient to puff out their cheeks. You wanna check for taste, so for the anterior two-thirds of the tongue, it should taste salty and sweet. Cranial nerve eight is your acoustic or your vestibulocochlear. You wanna check for hearing. To check for hearing, you will rub your fingers against their ears and ask if they hear sounds. Assess the patient's balance and observe for swaying during standing or loss of balance during ambulation. Cranial nerves nine and 10 are tested together. So cranial nerve nine is your glossopharyngeal. You wanna check for taste on the posterior third of the tongue and patient should be able to taste bitter and sour. You also wanna have the patient say, ah, looking for symmetrical elevation of the soft palate. With the tongue depressor, you wanna elicit the gag reflex by touching the posterior pharyngeal. For cranial nerve 10, this is your vagus nerve. This controls swallowing. This also controls sensation of the exterior ear and sensation behind the ear and sensation in the thoracic area. So cranial nerve 11 is your spinal accessory. This test will check for the strength of the shoulder and neck muscles. So the RN will palpate the sternocleidomastoid muscle and the patient will push the chin against the RN's hand. The RN will palpate the trapezius muscles and the client will shrug the shoulders against resistance. For cranial nerve 12, hypoglossal, this controls tongue movements with speech and swallowing. So you wanna observe for any abnormal changes such as tongue asymmetry, um, deviation to one side with tongue stuck out, it should be midline. You also wanna have your patient move their tongue from side to side. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for upcoming notifications. Take care.